गुड आफ्टरनून वन एंड ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री टू द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमाइन मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ गिवन सॉलिड ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इन एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर वन यू स्टडीड द डिफरेंट ग्लास वेस देन डिफरेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट वी आर यूजिंग इन केमिस्ट्री लेबोरेटरी here you have to perform melting point of given solid orga organic compound so one unknown sample is given to you and you have to determine their melting point for that you must know what is melting point so the melting point is the temperature at which solid changes to liquid is called as melting point and why there is need to find out melting point high purity of organic compound indicated by a sharp melting point if we got an sharp melting point that means your compound is pure for this practical we require the different apparatus in that thills tube thermometer thread capillary tube and we require the chemical that is liquid paraffin see the different apparatus in that this is stand that we require for holding thills tube and ring then this is a thills tube which consist of liquid paraffin here the chemical thermometer is there we can measure the temperature from 10 to 360 degrees celsius this is capillary tube we have to fill the solid substance in this capillary tube for determination of melting point this is our unknown sample of which we have to determine their melting point we are using this thills tube in this melting point and boiling point determination because a thills tube allows for circulation i means what happen when we heat this thills tube at this we arm the shape of thills tube allows for formation of convection current in the oil when it is heated which maintain a fairly uniform temperature distribution throughout the oil in the tube that means uniform temperature is there when we heat that thills tube there is a uniform temperature get maintained inside that thills tube or in that liquid paraffin so what happen uh we got a sharp melting point if liquid paraffin is not available you can use concentrated sulfuric acid for determination of melting point and boiling point the liquid paraffin remains stable at high temperature and its boiling point also high that's why we are choosing this liquid for determination of this melting point and boiling point see the step wise procedure in that the first step is that you have to take a capillary and seal its one end by holding it in flame for a while see the procedure see we have to rotate that capillary tube in the blue flame so it gets sealed at one end see it is sealed properly then the next step is that a take a small quantity about 3 to 5 mg of powdered organic compound into sealed capillary tube see how to fill that capillary tube with uh, our organic compound you have to dip that capillary tube into powder and after that we have to tap that capillary tube see how to tap so the solid substance goes at the bottom see we fill our organic compound in this capillary tube then see the next step is that we have to tie the capillary bulb capillary tube containing the given sample of organic compound to the thermometer near its bulb with the help of thread or rubber ring so we are tying this next then the next step is that we have to immerse the thermometer with capillary tube into the liquid paraffin 
taken in a thrill tube care should be taken that to allow a thread ring come in come in contact with the liquid paraffin see see the thread does not come in contact with this liquid paraffin now the next step is that we have to heat the thrill tube slowly with the help of gas burner heat to this side arm see we are continuously heating this thrill tube and there is a circulation of that liquid paraffin temperature is raised see the mercury goes upward that means temperature get rise mm -hmm. see the melting point it get start to melt see our substance get melt at 121 degrees celsius see the mercury we should take care that the rate of heating should not be more than 3, 3 degrees celsius per minute we have to repeat this procedure twice and take the observation after taking the observation we have to write the observation in your observation table and after that so the result the melting point of given sample of organic compound is 121 degree celsius the melting point of given solid organic compound as per official book is 121 degree celsius this is a sample of benzoic acid and we got an sharp melting point of benzoic acid that means our compound is pure thank you